Simon says, subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial from Simon Says It. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to spell check in Excel. When typing an article or creating a document, there might occur some inadvertent typographical errors that escape human supervision. In Microsoft Word and PowerPoint, any typographical or grammatical errors are indicated by underlines. However, in Microsoft Excel, there are no particular indicators to show any errors that occur. In those cases, Excel has a built-in option to check the spelling of any text involved. This will eliminate the need to manually check each cell for any errors. So without further ado, let us get right into how to spell check in Excel. One way to spell check in Excel is by using the review menu. First, select a single cell or a group of cells. If you select a single cell, the spell check option will only pertain to the data in the particular cell. In case you want to check the spelling for all the data in the Excel spreadsheet, select all the cells either by clicking and dragging or by holding the control key. Then navigate to the review main menu ribbon. Under the proofing section, click on spelling. This opens the spelling dialog box. Using the spelling dialog box, you can correct the spelling of a particular word. If you're a person who is more accustomed to using a keyboard, you can use the keyboard shortcut keys to spell check easily and efficiently. First, select the adjacent cells or non-adjacent cells using the control or shift keys. Now, press the F7 function key to open the spelling dialog box. Now, you can check and correct the spelling of the selected cells in Excel. Now that we have arrived at the spelling dialog box, let us now see the variety of buttons in the spelling dialog box and how to fix the mistakes. As the spelling dialog box opens, you can see that Excel searches through rows and highlights the cell with the spelling error in the not in dictionary text box. You can see the words that Excel suggests in the places of the misspelled word in the suggestions section. You can navigate through the suggested words by using the arrow keys or by clicking on the word. On the right side of the dialog box, you can see a few buttons. Let us see them in detail. If the highlighted text is not a misspelled word, the ignore button is used to ignore the suggestions for the cell. The ignore all option ignores the suggestions and corrections for all the places where the particular word occurs. Excel has a dictionary that has certain words added to them. If you will be using the highlighted word often, you can choose to add that particular word to your Excel dictionary. This ignores the particular word as an error and it does not show up every time you spell check. If the particular word is genuinely a misspelled word, you can choose to correct that particular word from the suggestions shown in the dictionary using the change button. As the change button replaces only the particular word with the suggested word, the change all button replaces all words in the selection with the particular word. The autocorrect button replaces the particular word with the most relevant word from the suggestions. In almost all of Microsoft applications, you can change the language from the scripts to any language other than English. To check the spelling of the data in a different language other than English, click on the drop-down from Dictionary Language and choose the language of your choice. The Options button takes you to the Excel Options proofing section where you can make additional customizations to the spell check and dictionary settings. If you're not satisfied with replacing or ignoring the previous selection, you can always choose to revert the change by using the Undo Last button. After you have made all the changes and there are no errors found, Excel throws a pop-up saying, do you want to continue checking at the beginning of the sheet? Click Yes. Once the spell check is complete, Excel throws another pop-up saying, spell check complete. You're good to go. This closes the spell check dialog box. That is all everyone. Checking spelling errors might seem like a trivial thing, but ignoring spelling errors can adversely affect your credibility and render all your hard work ineffective. In this video, we saw how to spell check in Excel using the spelling option. We also saw the options in the spelling dialog box. Thank you.
If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.